teacher, don't apply here in native camp. If... Let's find out. Hey, teacher. We all know that every ESL company has their own pros and cons. No ESL company is perfect, right? And on this video, I'll be sharing the reasons why this company is not for you. And if you are any of these six reasons that I'll be sharing today, then might as well, you know, don't even think about applying here in native camp because you're just going to give yourself a headache. So I'm going to be tackling these reasons and mind you, in my opinion, native camp is the best ESL company out there. It's humane. It encourages self-reliance, independence. You are your own boss. But of course, um, this company is not for everybody. And I just want to be honest with you because I've already referred a lot of teachers to this company. And I don't want you to feel that I'm just referring you just because I want to get the referral incentive. Uh-uh. So I'll be sharing with you the reasons in a few. If any of you wants to be a part of this company after watching this, this video, well, all you got to do is send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com. I'll be sending with you tried and tested tips to pass. And to those of you from China, uh, Japan, Taiwan, other Asian countries, European countries who'd like to have private classes with me, all you have to do is to simply get in touch through WeChat. My WeChat details are on the description description box. So let's start. Reason number one, if you are not willing to take your teaching skills to the next level. You know what teaches in other ESL companies, the only way that the student can have a class is to book a class with a teacher. They don't have an option to have what we call sudden classes here in Native Camp, where basically the student would have to pay less and would just simply you know, have a class with a teacher who's available at the moment. Let's say I'm on standby right now. I don't have a class. I'm just going to literally press standby mode. And whoever student who would like to have a class right now can book my class. They will be paying less and I will be earning less as a teacher. So here at Native Camp, we actually have that option for the students to have sudden classes with us for like, you know, um, a, a cheaper rate. But other ESL companies don't have that. So what's my point? here. You have to level up your teaching skills, teacher, because if you don't level it up, you're just going to be stuck with sudden classes, you know, students who would like to save more money and just simply learn English instead of students who would want to book your class and pay a little bit more, you know, pay a little um, bit more when it comes to the 25 minute class just to have um, a guaranteed class with you because they like you as their teacher and they appreciate your teaching methods your teaching style and they learn a lot from you so that's actually the reason why many teachers here in native camp just settle for sudden classes because when they try to open their schedule you know nobody nobody books their class uh as as a regular class as a book class number one because it's more expensive and number two because maybe they don't like you <laughs> as their regular teacher so all the classes that you will get will be just worth 55 pesos per per 25 minutes. So that's like uh, about a dollar, one dollar per class instead of about two dollars per class. You know, when it comes to regular students, book classes, we get to be paid more. We're paid 80 pesos to 104 pesos. Um, in just 25 minutes for a book class. That's like double the, the salary for a sudden class. So this is a company that needs you to level up your teaching skills. This is a company that needs you to be, to give your best foot forward every single time so that you'd be able to market yourself to students and prove to them why you should be their regular teacher, why they should book your classes. If you're not willing to do that, then this company is not for you. 
Reason number two, if you're not willing to work hard for your regular students. So this is very much similar to reason number one, but reason number one is all about not just settling for sudden classes. For reason number two, you really have to constantly, you know, impress your regular students. You have to always give them a reason to book your classes. You have to give them a reason to look forward to having classes with you so that they don't settle for sudden classes. And this takes a lot of effort. Number one, for you to be able to work hard to maintain your regular students, you always have to have a lesson plan. You have to know the student's progress. You have to keep track of files to get to know the personal information about the student, their interests. You have to customize a learning plan for them. You have to customize your approach for them. You have to make sure that every lesson with you is meaningful and every native camp coin that they pay you is actually worth every coin. So it's pretty challenging because, you know, you can't be unprofessional. You can't just be absent if you want to. You have to invest on good lighting. You have to invest on a decent sound quality, a decent headset. You have to invest on props like dolls. Uh, I have your dolls, even you know, uh, English books. I also have flashcards. I have toys and so on. And I continue to amaze and surprise my regular students, even though we've already had, what, 150 classes. And trust me, teachers, it's quite challenging. I honestly have had regular students who have been with me through 150 plus classes. And imagine they already know you as a person. They know your approach and you still have to constantly make them fall in love with you so that they would want to book your classes. They want to have 200 classes with you and they're not going to get bored. And trust me, teacher, that one is exhausting. So if you think that, you know, here in Native Camp, you can just be like super duper relaxed, uh, just like, you know, some of the some of the teachers that you see from the training videos. It's not like that. It takes a lot of effort to keep your regular students. And not only that, if you want to attract more regular students, you have to constantly update your self-introduction video. Uh, I, I made a tutorial about that, by the way, how to make, you know, an enticing self-introduction video to encourage more students to book your class. So, Native Camp is a company that requires you to work hard. This is not a company that will just spoon feed you with your students. The amount of students that you have, the amount of regular students that you have versus your sudden classes um, is actually determined solely by your efforts. So if you want to succeed here, you better be ready to work hard. If you're not up for it, then do not apply here in Native Camp. Reason number three, if you are not self-reliant. Self-reliance is all about being independent, being able to work on your own, being able to manage your time, your schedule, and being responsible enough to know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Here in Native Camp, we don't have bosses. We don't have a supervisor who's going to like answer your questions real time. We don't have a supervisor who will plot your schedule, who would spoon feed you. So, as someone who is independent and self-reliant, you have to know how to resolve your issues on your own. You have to know how to be able to uh, troubleshoot. You have to know where to get help from if you feel lost, which means you have to be a part of Facebook groups. You have to know how to use the different tools available. You have to know how to get in touch with Native Camp. And you have to figure that out on your own because we don't really have trainers here. So all of the things that we know are actually things that we have figured out by ourselves. And that's because we have applied in a company knowing that we have to be self-reliant. You know, it's quite annoying when there are some teachers who ask, you know, um, where to get um, our tax identification number? Uh, what are the bank accounts that are accepted by the company? I'm not saying that these are irritating questions. It's just that before you ask something, 
you have to use all available resources first before you ask those questions, um, let's say from forums or groups. Why not try to find the answer yourself instead of asking everybody? Why not search it on Google? Why not look for YouTube videos? Why not subscribe to YouTubers like me, you know, to give you tips on how to survive here in Native Camp? Because there's already information overload on the internet. And please, again, please, please, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there are such, you know, um, two toot questions. I'm not saying that these are invalid questions. What I'm trying to say is, before you ask, try to look for the answers yourself first. Try to be self-reliant. And if you can't find the answers yourself, that's when you should ask help from other people. Because again, here, we don't have supervisors. We don't have bosses. If you have concerns, we send an email to Native Camp. We make an inquiry and we wait for a few hours or a few days for them to respond. That's how life here is. And if that's too difficult for you, if you want someone to baby you, to spoon feed you to be your supervisor if you cannot be the boss of yourself then do not apply here in native camp reason number four if you are not willing to self-study as mentioned earlier here in native camp we do not have trainers there's no such thing as new hire training there's no such thing as you know having virtual classes with with someone live you know for for them to answer your your questions here in native camp everything is all about self-study they have this you know they have a bunch of courses that you have to take they have like this certification process that you have to do on your own you know study the material send them let's say a video uh showing them that you know how to practice whatever it is that you learn or be able to pass different assessments on your own without cheating so all those things you have to be able to do by yourself because you know native camp is not really a company that invests on, on training. That's the reason why they hire teachers who have already had six months experience in, in teaching ESL because, you know, they don't have the capacity, the bandwidth, the manpower to, you know, train you unlike ESL companies. And, you know, actually I like that because it makes me feel empowered that I am the boss of myself. And if I want to succeed in this company, I have to invest hours of my time to study just like, you know, what I did when I was in school, in college or in high school. So I really have to work hard. So mind you teaches, there are a lot of courses and you really have to study them. There are like videos that Native Camp has already made in advance and you have to watch it, even though sometimes they can be a little boring. You still have to, you know, endure the the boredom and watch and really learn because if you have been practicing you know uh cheating <laughs> uh and you haven't been caught you've been doing cheating um in let's say in your previous esl company that wouldn't work here in native camp because you're only ruining your own career you're only delaying your growth you're only preventing yourself from knowing the things that you should know and uh Basically, there's no room for cheating. You have to have, or you have to be someone who has integrity that even though no one's looking, you're not going to be cheating. You're not going to, you know, publicly ask for answers, right? And try to figure them on your own. You're going to feel that it's really important for you to be self-reliant as early as your, your application process. Everything you're going to go through online, if you want to get an interview, you have to wait. If you want to be a part of Native Camp, you have to study for your demo, you have to practice for your demo and use all available resources. And once again, if you're not willing to study, if you're not willing to, you know, work hard and be your own trainer, well, again, do not apply here at Native Camp. Reason number five, if you are not willing to pay the 10% service charge. So, as mentioned earlier, we don't have bosses here in Native Camp, and we are our own boss, but we have quite a reliable website where, you know, you could ask questions, uh, get in touch with the admins, and so on. And by using the tools of Native Camp, every teacher has to pay 10% of their salary. So let's say your earning for the month, your earnings for the month would be 15,000 pesos. Uh, 1,500 pesos will be deducted from it as your payment to Native Camp for letting them 
uh, letting you uh, use their tools. So pretty much that's inevitable. Uh, I've been paying 10% service charge to Native Camp ever since I started in August. And that's okay because I'm actually happy with my salary. Being able to earn 104 pesos every 25 minutes is something that you cannot get from other ESL companies. So I'm pretty much happy that even though I'm earning 208 pesos every hour for my regular students, uh, there's going to be a 10% deduction, which is going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm terrible in math, 20 pesos and 80 centavos, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm used to paying tax ranging from 1,000 to 4,000 pesos every cutoff, every two weeks. So that's a reality that we would have to do and accept here in Native Camp. If you cannot accept it, then this is not the company for you. And finally, if you are not willing to invest. Actually, this is something that every independent contractor has to do, regardless of the ESL company you work for. If you're a freelancer, then you would have to invest on things that would really cost you. And as an ESL teacher, I find that the things that we need to invest to ranges uh, from maybe around 5,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos. You know, those are investments that you would have to really be willing to pay for to succeed and really take your ESL career seriously. So what have I invested on? Um, let's say I don't want to have a power outage uh, there. Um, let's say I invested on a power generator. It cost, it cost me 7,000 pesos, Philippine pesos. Um, Let's say I want to make sure that just in case my MacBook acts up, I have another laptop that I could use. So I made sure that I, I've had my old laptop repaired. I spent about 3,000 pesos for that. Um, as mentioned, I also invested on lighting, on on audio quality, my Jabra Evolve 20. My internet speed is 50 Mbps download and 50 Mbps upload, even though the company only requires like, 3 Mbps, if I'm not mistaken. So I've also invested on backup internet. I have a decent power bank just in case we lose power and my modem, my router needs to be powered up. Um, I have this backup device for, it's like a PLDT smart um, home broadband. It's like a prepaid Wi-Fi, which I've also invested on. Plus we have here my props, my flashcards, my dolls, and so on. I also invest on my health, making sure that I don't lose my voice. So I also take multivitamins. So these are like investments that, you know, every independent contractor have to be willing to pay for. You know, it shouldn't hurt anymore. It should just be something that you have to do because you are taking this job seriously and you see it as a job and not just something that you do for fun, not just something you do to, to earn money, but it's an actual job. You know, if it's not a job, then it won't be difficult, right? Every job is difficult. That's why you have to look for a job that you really Really love. So, teachers, if you are the type of person who isn't willing to invest, you just want to use whatever random headset you have there. You're not willing to use, let's say, a ring light and it's going to be, you know, this dark. So, this company is not for you. There you go, teachers. The six reasons why Native Camp is not for you. If you you know, you are any of these six reasons, then might as well consider applying at a different company because, you know, I don't want your life to be miserable here in Native Camp. My life is not miserable. To me, this is the best ESL company. And, you know, even though we're having technical issues right now, I'm still very happy and proud to be a part of Native Camp. So I hope this video has become an eye opener that being an ESL teacher is not easy. There are a lot of things that you have to do, and it just depends on the company that you will be choosing. And that company, you know, should be a company where you can tolerate the cons, the bad side, you can tolerate it and a company that will not give you like, you know, hell on earth feeling every day because you have to be a part of a, of, um, an organization that will make you feel at home, that would make you feel that, you know, it's really the best one for you, uh, a company that treats you like a person and a company who values your worth. So again, to those of you who'd like to be a Native Camp teacher, all you have to do is send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com. To those of you who'd like to have private classes with me, um, 
just simply get in touch through WeChat. All my details are on the description box. I hope to see you all next time. Please subscribe to my channel, Teacher Karen, for more native camp tips, private classes tips, and, you know, tips on how to be a better ESL teacher. Like this video and comment below if you have, like, questions or concerns about it. And, of course, hit the bell icon to get notified for new video uploads, which usually would be on Saturdays and or Wednesdays. I'm going to see you all next time and be a blessing to the people around you. Bye-bye.